Hurry! Find beds for the patients from the other Del- Remember to minimize contact. We don't want your people to succumb to the same evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Realm Keeping Commission is out in full strength. What about the Alchemy Commission? Why are there so few of you here? Do you mean... out in full force? Hey, Missy, does this look like a classroom to you? Concentrate on treating the patients. That's... the best I can do. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Doctors don't give up that easily. What else am I supposed to do? The route back to the Alchemy Commission has disappeared, and we're in the field without the right medicine or supplies. Besides, we have no record of this disease at all. These symptoms are consistent with someone about to be stricken with Mara. According to his medical record, this man is barely over 200 years old. He only just joined the Cloud Knights. How can he possibly be Mara-struck? Why don't you take another look? <sighs> it goes on like this. The judges of the Ten Lords Commission will have to come out and clean up this mess. Everyone, please remain... If you feel unwell, please... Oh, uh, we... Please register. I see. I heard there's a pr some diviners. And do you have friends trapped in the delve? I want to say it's all in a day's work. When it rains, it pours. Oh, my apologies. I'm an orderly from the... Sorry, the Xianzhou is currently caught in unusual circumstances. But the Cloud Knights will resolve the issues for safety reasons. Please stay in your residence and refrain from going... If the port is still open, I would suggest you take a boat to Starskiff Haven right away. No, oh, that reminds me. I have a friend with a Starskiff and a travel permit. He could help you and your friends. Well now, you must be quite special. Hey, don't spread this around, but this isn't some small-scale maintenance drill. You may not need it right now, but if there's... Excuse me, miss. Hold on a moment. It was only thanks to your help earlier that the Dragon Lady and those exalting Sanctum residents got away unscathed. You don't remember? A friend in the Skyfaring Commission told me the General Commission guests to deal with the troubles on the... If you don't mind, I hope you can take the time to come to the Realm Keeping Commission. I'd like to talk... To That's right. It, forgive my forgetfulness. Glad you came. It's great to have one of the General's distinguished guests helping us out. My realm-keeping commission colleagues failed to provide adequate care for the Dragon Lady. I'd like to thank you on behalf of all of them for rescuing her back in Exulting Sanctum Plaza. As I'm sure you're aware, symptoms of Mara have been spreading ever since the Stellaron incident occurred. 
Thanks to the Ten Lords' commission, being stricken with Mara had long since become a terrifying but avoidable fate for Sienjo natives. The puzzling thing is that despite the commission's protection, we're now seeing more and more citizens, in particular those dealing with great risks and stress like the Cloud Knights, are becoming stricken with Mara. Moreover, the Mara struck have taken on a horrifying appearance, as if they're turning into some sort of monster. It's certainly different. We wouldn't have the audacity to trouble you with that. The General has a plan to suppress the illness. You're a capable person. And since the General entrusted you with locating the Stellaron, it's only a matter of if you come across any clues, remember- Speaking of which, have you- I read the letter. I'll be honest with you, I've got no idea how to handle this problem. It's beyond the- Allow me to introduce Madam Ching Zhu, General Jing Yuan's chief counselor. I think it'll be easier if she explains the letter to you. the letter you obtained from the Mara Strack. While the Cloud Knights were searching for the Stellaron's whereabouts, I was carrying out the General's orders, tracking down clues on the Mara Strack. Thanks to your efforts, we now have a lead. To an outsider, this letter appears to be nothing more than good news detailing a recovery from a chronic illness. However, what is actually being discussed is a violation of the Ten Unpardonable Sins. It's heresy. Correct. The term merciful medicus is one of respect. One that any law-abiding citizen of the Alliance would never dare utter. It refers to none other than the enemy of the people of the Xianzhou. The one we now call the Plague's author. The Eon of Abundance. Yao Shi. The author of this letter was likely the Mara struck you defeated. My guess is he was led astray and poisoned while under the pretext of being cured. You saw how he ended up. Such actions remind me of an organization that was eradicated from the Sienjo a thousand years ago. They were disciples of the Abundance that sought to restore the way of immortality by unearthing a forbidden remedial formula. It's hard to believe that a group that was wiped out so long ago would suddenly rear its head and create chaos once more. The Seat of Divine Foresight needs to learn all it can about this organization's status before the situation reaches a point of no return. If you come across any similar clues about the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, come and find me at the Seat of Divine Foresight. These kinds of first-hand accounts are exactly what we require. Excellent. Your work will not be in vain. The C I recently received some- We sent an undercover investigator out a few months ago. They provided us with a rough idea of the situation. Unfortunately, it seems suspicions were aroused. We lost contact with the agent. I suspect he was discovered. You are a fresh face in the Lafu, and an outworlder. I would feel more at ease if- Drop by the Realm Keeping Commission if you need help. Looks good. Wait, so you're still reading traditional?
don't believe in ghosts. Need your extractor cleaned or your star skip serviced? No further. Clean to your star skiff service? <laughs> Look no further. Excuse me, guest from another world. Please spare me a moment of your time. Excellent. The Xianzhou doesn't care one bit about the well-being of short-life species. They stubbornly blockade the glorious path to... My name is Green Hibiscus. I came to Exalting Sanctum in hopes of a fated encounter with one such as yourself. One, what do you say? How about we find a more suitable spot? Let's make haste. There are too many people here to linger. Here we are. This is the place. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. If it were so easy, we'd be a far larger group, and there'd be no need for secrecy. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am a member of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I was unable to expose my true identity in Exalting Sanctum, but now I can reveal everything. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus is a devout group, holding firm in their belief that Merciful Medicus is the one ultimate faith. As followers, we refer to ourselves as disciples, dedicated to our... If you wish to gain the means to immortality, then you must become a dis... Please excuse me. Our expansion has unfortunately attracted the attention of those devilish archer followers. If we are not careful, the consequences could... What you seek... All you must do is transcribe this copy of Thousand-Handed Merciful Medicus' Salvation. This scripture is central to the disciples. You must maintain... Of course, this is but the first. Don't worry. A traditional Sienjo brush and inkstone has been prepared for you. Smooth action and an ergonomic design. I myself transcribed... Stop! 
stop writing. Get up. <sighs> Took you long enough. I know you. You're... Wait, wait a second. You're here undercover, right? So am I. I'm a cloud knight from the Exalting Sanctum Garrison. That green hibiscus has been sneaking around spreading heretical lies from... They were suspicious of me as soon as I arrived. It took a lot of effort to make them believe I wanted to become a disciple. <laughs> I have my reasoning. Cults like this want to recruit people with influence in law and order. I wanted them to know I was a cloud knight. Always know your enemy. Shh! Keep your voice down! These disciples... <sighs> you can trust me with the transcription. I spent over 150 years pen-pushing in the seat of divine foresight before I became a cloud knight. I could listen carefully. I help you copy the text, you cover for me, and I get word out to the... Take your time. Still, you're... You're finished? So soon? Let me see. Ah. Huh. Yes, it would appear you are finished. A fast and accurate... Tr Calm yourself. The initiation is divided into two steps. You and the Cloud Knight have completed the first. Now... Only the second. Sure, but can it wait till tomorrow? I'm supposed to be on duty right now. They'll get suspicious if I don't head back soon. No need to worry. The second step is ex- The Disciples' initiation is governed by the following principle. Never accept who you suspect, and never suspect who you accept. It's time for you two to battle it out. Who- Huh. Transcribing scripture allows us to ascertain your devotion, but determine- Whoa, 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 you're kidding, right? We came here to lengthen our lifespans, not shorten them! You can't just make us fight like this! We aren't forcing you to fight. By all means, refuse if you wish. But we won't possibly be able to let I- I- mm. Fine, fine, but at least let me prepare? I've never done anything like this before. Very well. But you'll need to ask your opponent. Good. Then prepare yourself. Listen, I have an idea that will let you join the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. You and I fight, and I lose to you. I pretend that you finish me off. That way, we both accomplish our... Oh, um... I've seen your skills. Um, please don't mess up and actually kill me. Oh, just... Uh, whatever, I got myself into this. But... So, have you prepared yourself? And you, Cloud Knight? <laughs> then... Well then, take this! Go. Take this. Savor the vigor of the times now. <laughs> what magnificent skill! He was fierce, but no match for you. I'm glad you prevailed. That Cloud Knight waltzed straight up to us in uniform and asked if he could join. Hardly a convincing spectacle. I Purple Chrysanthemum, Blue Peach. Find somewhere to dispose of the body. Oh, you've dealt with this kind of thing before? A long-time associate, eh? Hmm. This does have its advantages. As such, this can be your first mission as a disciple. In any case, my hearty congratulations. Well, Grey Peony, let's depart separately to avoid attracting attention. 
We'll rendezvous at a different... <sighs> Those people are out of their minds. Wait, you, you weren't holding back? Uh, enough with the jokes already. It's a miracle either of us is alive. I should report back to the seat of divine foresight. Green Hibiscus agreed to meet me here, but there's a no... There's a letter here. What's this on the envelope? The disciples sure know how to keep a low profile. Looks like I'll need to help them complete this mission. If they're looking to intercept mail, I should probably start by searching near Exalting Sanctum Cycrine stands. What's written on this package? Seat of Divine Foresight. <clears throat> Seems like it's encrypted somehow. Makes sense.
cracked. Huh. It's an internal order from the dis judging from these urgent instructions. The disciples are aware of a seed of divine foresight operation to infiltrate their ranks. <laughs> no, I'll use my phone to make a copy and then hand it over to Green Hibiscus. Of Moon, this is the reliable disciple I mentioned to you. Gray Peony. Gray Peony, this is Mav Moon, the head of our operations in Exalting Sanctum. It seems you have some impressive skills in your arsenal. No need for modesty. I've studied martial arts for years. I can tell how strong you are with just a glance. You seem like you've got it all figured out. What brings you to the disciples of Sanctus Medicus? Good. Life is a miracle and a blessing. Any futile attempt to forsake it is a disgraceful betrayal. You have been enlightened to the significance of immortality. You have already surpassed those shameful mortals. Here, take this prescription. Through this medicine, you will become like... The disciple responsible for creating medicinal pellets heard of your exploits. They prepared the prescription for you personally. Some of the ingredients can be purchased at an apothecary, but others will require you to come up with your own Do you have any questions? I'm ashamed to admit it, but I once worked alongside those devils. I trained it, but I was trapped in a weak mortal shell. Fortunately, the draft of Draconic Surge, the prescription you hold in your hand, rescued me. Now, everything has changed. Jersin and his... Wait. You recognize me? Where do you know me from? Your face changed when you heard... M M Mav Moon, sir. We have a problem. I suspect this person may be the agent who's been looking for you. Idiot! What kind of trials are you running? You... I... I... I couldn't have known, sir. I... I witnessed this person slay a Cloud Knight before my very eyes. Detestable! The devilish Archer author allows these pitiful mortals to face death without fear. Self-sacrifice is their way of fooling us into opening our door. Merciful Medicus has sharpened my senses. Nothing gets past me. In that case, Divine Foresight. <laughs> Merciful Medicus. Move carefully. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant sanctuary, is but a vision! Break! <laughs> a gift from the stone! Let's go. Take this! Rules are made to be broken. Ha <laughs> 
Time for a shot. You're in bad shape. Secret of the Saints! <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Don't worry about me. Inviting you. Who's the lucky one today? Let's make it quick. <laughs> Naughty children, don't listen. Now time. A beauty exists. <laughs> A gift from the stars. <laughs> Savor the vigor of it. Everything is ordained by the stars. Those stars give these trailblazers your blessing! Step aside. Oh, mercy of Sanctus Medicus! Grant me a body impervious to steel, the courage of a thousand armies, a strength that ten thousand foes cannot suppress. Who invited you? You think you're a match for me, devil? Your death is inevitable. Surrender, and I'll make it quick. That's better. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Much better. Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> Immortality means forever. Who's the lucky one today? <laughs> You're in bad shape. Clemency? Never heard of it. Secret of the Saints! So this is defeat. Step aside. I have no interest in you. <laughs> That'll take nap time. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. So Mauve Moon was the agent that Ching Zhu lost contact with. He joined the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I should go to the seat of divine foresight and tell Ching Zhu. Yeah, I, I don't know if this mission was a success or a failure. Do you know how to fix a star skip?
I'm glad to see you've returned in one piece. So, what happened? Did everything... Don't worry. Your operation was a success. Although your identity was ultimately... Ugh. I never imagined that Chersene would choose the path of evil. You did the right thing. I'm afraid this is how the Plague's author operates. Using notions of power and life to draw countless people like Jersene away from bright futures. You've managed to shine a light on the darkness of the enemy. With this intelligence, the seed of divine foresight will be able and for all your efforts. Is there anything else you'd like to know about? The prescription you acquired is beyond my knowledge. There are a few reliable alchemists that reside in Exalting Sanctum. I'd like given that the disciples of Sanctus Medicus has become aware of our operation. It's about time the seed of divine foresight reeled in its net. If you turn up any details about the prescription, feel free to... Can I help you? The Seed of Divine Foresight? Let me see the prescription. It's a horrifying prescription, and I can't make any sense of it. Go and ask Lady Don. She may be sightless, but she's more. She's no stranger to helping others, either. Always prescribing medicine to those in need. And free of charge. She'll certainly be willing to help this. You can find her at Sinwood Pavilion. forward to meeting you. You have a very distinct scent. Losing one sense forces the other senses to become sharper. I heard from other alchemists you have a prescription you wish me to assess. Thank you. Hmm. A strange and dangerous prescription, but I believe I understand the pharmacology. It involves drawing upon the strength of long scions to attain the power of ascension. The specifics, however, will require further investigation. I could hardly happen upon Vidiotera Bone Marrow and test the prescription myself, could I? Leave your contact details with me. When I've completed my ascension...
We need a strategy. No interest in still. Naughty children, don't favor the vigor of. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Thank you. 